Targrim awoke on a new world. He had entered a glowing portal, a portal similar to the one through which he had seen his brother Algrim disappear years before. Confused and disorientated, he approached a woman and asked where he was. You are in Zarabaidon, in the Amon Desert. I can tell you I knew here. Let me tell you what I know. Targrim learned of Dereth and resolved to search this land for his brother. The years passed and Targrim's wanderings brought him to the blighted town of Ayan Bakur. He had learned that his brother had lived there before the Burindi invasion. In Ayan Bakur, he met a group of knights who followed rune keeper Sigil. Lady Valor, head of the rune guard House of Tyr, listened to Targrim's tale and confirmed that she remembered Algrim in Ayan Bakur from the days before the Burindi takeover. She hid the fact that Algrim had become the town drunk. Valor's vassal, Templar Knight, reminded her of the refugees hiding in the swamps to the southeast. Perhaps they would know more of Algrim's fate. When the Rune Knights and Targrim had found Yuan Hanzu and Yale Al Tharu, the sole survivors of the raid on Ion Bakur, what they learnt drove a spear of fear through their souls. The Verindi had taken the townsfolk of Ion Bakur to a nearby outpost named Panopticon. According to the refugees, Algrim had been taken with them. The Rune Guard offered to aid Targrim in gaining entrance to Panopticon, an offer he gladly accepted. And well, he did. Fiendish, hollow minions guarded the dungeon. Wherever the Burindi conducted their experiments, the hollow ones stand guard. But even these creatures could not stand up to the rune guard. Deeper they ventured, until at last they encountered the Burindi master of Panopticon. The battle was hard fought, and only the magical prowess of Scurfy saved the rune guard. They found the townsfolk. The people stared vacant-eyed and responded listlessly, as if the magical forces unleashed in the rune sapped their spirits and hobbled their minds. Targrim found his brother, who still held a flagon in his hand. Despite his best efforts, his brother was as unresponsive as the other captured citizens. The rune guard fled the dungeon before Burindi reinforcements could arrive, vowing to return and free the prisoners. Valor offered Targrim a place in her rune house and the embrace of a new family, the rune guard. 